Hi, I'm Lori Dobson, and this is Lori on Love. It's June, June 15th, 2020, and I'm in Kennebunkport. I'm in uh, the back of my folks, uh, the, the this, my folks' farm ranch. They call it the Back Acre Ranch, and uh, Goose Rocks Beach area. And uh, behind me is my my dad built this big. Uh, Big barn area, and then over there, there's a, a hangar. You can't really see it. Uh, anyway, never mind. It well here. Let's see. Uh, car's got some stuff in it. Yeah, there's the hangar, which you can see of it. And there's a whole bunch of they uh, they cleared the land over there and made made it a place for cows. And um, there's some pigs over there, and a big couple of big farm ponds just did a nice job here came up to maine to retire and then do a you know victory garden kind of existence and survivalist side of stuff in the 70s anyway so uh huh. um so this is this is my hometown even though i was mostly mostly raised in portsmouth i'm um i'm rambling i it, i feel good today it's uh it's a beautiful day it's really beautiful and I just picked a four leaf clover. Um, but as I was turning on the, the phone, one of the petals falls off, falls off, fell off of it. So now it's a three leaf clover with a little doohickey. But it was kind of cool. It just kind of spoke to me. I remember that song. I'm looking over a four leaf clover that I overlooked before. And I've just got this sense of, you know, I'm tired today because I put a whole bunch of stuff in the truck I'm putting in the barn temporarily to take back to the island to get a new project going. And I, it's, it's beautiful out, but there aren't any bugs. It's amazing. It's one of those days in June, very rare, beautiful day in June. And um, I'm really tired, <laughs> but I feel really content too and I think I've just been exhausted from from just stressing all the time um and I just remember when I'm here in this kind of weather with daisies in the fields kind of coming up and and just this peaceful long afternoon in golden light and the leaves coming out on the trees and it's just there's this sense of well-being that um you know I got some flowers I'm going to put in the ground I picked up some flowers and I love this time of year. I love this feeling of, you, know, you can hear the birds, this peacefulness. And I'm looking at this place and it's not very many people have a place like this. They, um, they, they did this wonderful job of clearing it and you can see the far horizon around all the way around the house. It's very, very pretty. They got this place, they got a hundred acres for $500 back after the fire 47 up here. My grandfather did. And my mom's still hanging in there with this place. Bless her heart. My dad's spirit is here. It's still strong. He had uh, Alzheimer's for years, but he, they stayed here. She took care of him here all the way through. Uh, everywhere I look, there's signs of activity, the things that they did. And I, it's sad because it's, you know, it's, you know, can't really talk about it too much. It's just that it's it's beautiful, and uh, I'm glad I can be here. And every time I come, it's it's bittersweet, and it feels so good to just relax and um, have this feeling of hey, it's okay. You know, it's gonna be okay. And of course, I don't think it is really. That's the thing. I don't think life in in so many ways is ever gonna be okay again, because we came so close to realizing that we need a revolution to be anywhere near okay for everybody and to feel good here and to be so aware that it's so not good so many places makes me feel like I, I don't have really a right to feel good and yet it's it's kind of essential that we want to fight for something so that we can all appreciate happiness you know and if we don't know what that is we have to kind of be in touch with what we we know happiness to be even in potential to to reach for it and to, to grasp it and hope hope to hold it for the sake of those who live now or, or, or in the future 
and to appreciate those who fought for us in the past to get us to a point where we could have a life. You know, so many sacrifices, so many sacrifices, so much sadness in the world. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever been as t in touch with it. And so here I am in this place right here, and I was just going to sit in the truck and just kind of just feel the that place where you get that good sun and that good feeling. I just, you know, want to communicate how that feels right now, how I feel. <sighs> it's incredible. There's some beautiful places here. This is as, as much of a home as I'll ever, I'll ever have, or as long as I have it. Um, Maine, where my sister's down the road and her her husband and my mom's here in the house, staying safe from COVID. And my daughter's down the road with her husband and she's working. Quarantines are being lifted tomorrow. Cases are on the rise. Everybody's making a killing on putting us all in lockdown. People are fighting it. There's this endless, it's become part of us now, this whole COVID discussion, this whole mentality. But when I'm here, I just remember times when that, you know, you don't, I remember times so easily that you didn't hold a phone in front of you. I mean, that seems ludicrous now that to have existed in a time where we, we thought when people were walking around talking like this, you know, or even like this, that they looked crazy because they were like talking to themselves. We didn't really consider it like really talking unless you had a person you were talking to, you know, just, and now it's, it's also, it's also, you know, isolated and alien and, you know, you can be a stranger to people on the street and you don't talk to them because you're behind a mask and, oh my God, it's just gotten so, <sighs> the human joy of connection, it seems to have been turned on itself. And yet, never have I felt so connected to those who are out protesting for their basic rights. And, and I saw a family today, a black man and his, seems like his wife and their child and another friend. And I just, I just had this silent feeling of just, I just wanted to wish them well for what must be going on now. It was beautifully put to, by Dave Chappelle, 846, I think was the name of his, his, his talk. It was one of the first concerts and live performances in the nation. And they had to do it in a weird way to keep everybody separate. It was kind of like in a drive-in practically. And, uh, and seeing how, how love is expressed in so in bizarre ways, but it's still love and it's still being expressed. And I think maybe that's just the point. Because life is so weird anyway, on the best of situations, in the best of conditions, it's it's just so weird. And everybody's really happy as long as they can keep their little niche and control thing going. I just found out today that there's there's a case of uh, COVID on um, Sutton Island, which is part of the Cranberries, and it's got our zip code 06852. So it's right over the it's right over the water. It might be that the person's there or they might just be using that address and be somewhere else and we don't know exactly. But since life is so weird, it just, it can be so, and it's unpredictable. My dad was over there building an airplane and, and he was getting Alzheimer's and he couldn't remember how, you know, he'd been so good at it for so, so long. His workshop, workshops, he could fix anything. They'd go, they'd, he was a real good mechanic as well as a pilot, as well as all the other things that my family's done so well. They're, they come from a family of highly capable people. And I would like to just be able to contribute on that level. But sometimes I just feel like just witnessing, just being a witness and not falling into the, into the, um, not participating with the attempt to propagandize us and make us into wimps. And just, just to stay brave is, it's, it's an accomplishment, and I feel like I'm doing I'm doing it. I, I feel myself here. It helps to know that I come from this, you know, we can call it peasant stock, but definitely workers, worker stock, good good solid worker stock. You know, working hard, making it making it happen, but having the opportunity to. And damn it, it's time everybody felt that they could come from this kind of feeling that it isn't just the, the lucky ones, you know, like me, that could do this, but have this happen for people. 
just have everybody be able to take a, a good shot at having a, a, a life, a real life, a, a good life. As, as much as we can find a way to offer that to people, that should be our job. Finding ways to make life work for other people too. So anyway, those are my feelings. I just kind of, this is my Gemini season coming up to the solstice. It's already 10 minutes on and I haven't really been able to do much more than ramble and talk sort of incoherently about how good that sun feels right now coming in and how moved I am by everything these days. How much I, I feel love in my heart and pain because I... I have so many desires to make it better and I'm so out of inability to control it. But it's good to know, it's good to know the limits too. And you have to make peace with them. We make peace with our lives. Deep acceptance is, is one of the best lessons of love. So, so anyway, I hope, I hope all of you have that feeling. <sighs> Enjoy it. You don't need to drink to get to here. You just need to just breathe, take vitamins eat well, sleep better, and take, take care of your hearts. Okay, that's my message. Have a good day.